Okay, so what we're going to do here today is we're going to test two Honda EU2000s that are parallel together. So my base wattage will be about 3200 with a surge of 4000. Now I already went ahead and hooked up a soft starter in the air conditioning unit and it said that it only requires 400 running watts and about 11 amps of surge. So, in theory, this should be able to run. Now, the other thing I got going on here is a transformer. So that's a five kilowatt transformer that takes 120 volts. And you'll see I have a 30 amp connector that goes into that paralleling kit. And then on the outside comes into a 30 amp outlet. I'm gonna um, walk over to the air conditioner unit here in a bit and we're gonna plug it in. I already have the temperature set, so as soon as I plug the knife switch in, the air conditioner is either going to work or not work. Um, I'm going to just show you the voltage here to show you that we are running 240 volts out of this through the transformer. The switch is on, so now it's generating power through the transformer, so it's converting 120 volts to 240 volts. You can see right there I have 250 volts now coming out of uh, the hot two legs of the transformer. Okay, so the main power to the house is off. I have the generators on the eco mode is off, so they're running full speed right now. And um, everything's hooked up. Okay, so we're now running the air conditioner off of the two generators. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the amps of each generator. See how much we're drawing. So you can see it says cool on. I had it set to 69, it's 73. So we'll just keep our eye on there to see if it drops below 73. So I think on one leg we had 6.8 amps. And if you take that by 120, so that's how much wattage the first generator was putting out. We took a shot at. Now this is a 2000 watt generator, uh, well surge and it's 1600 running. So it's half of what the rated wattage is. So 800 is half of 1600. Now the other one was I think 9.2 or something like that. And if we times that by 120, we get 1104. Oh, yes. Clearly you can see by the temperature drop in the house that it's on and there's actually warm air coming out of here. So I know it's on. I just wanna show you the voltage drop. Um, I think we were, what, at two, 252, I think, when we started. The air conditioner is 242.5. So you can see we lost somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 volts. What I'm going to do now is just show you, I do have them in eco mode right now. And you can tell they're not as loud as they were. So when we plug this in, what's gonna happen is those generators should kick up, ramp up, and turn this on. Now, it's possible that they might not. I actually started it in eco mode. Oh, it's really impressive. All right, let's go over to the uh, generators. They should. So what's really good about this solution here is 
I could just leave these generators in eco mode and then when the air conditioning cycles on to off, it'll still start. Why that's useful is it can save a lot of money in fuel and ration the fuel as opposed to leaving the generators full speed in non-eco mode. So that's really great news that it started in eco mode and they should be around 3600 RPM. Um, I guess I should show you the model of the transformer I'm using. It's a 